There are a lot of providers out there that charge additional fees on top of your, what we call the discount rate. I'd say the average that we're saving shops right now is about $1,500 a year, if not a little more. Today, we want to do a quick segment on everything printable payments and the thoughts behind that and how it's all working. Um, a little bit of history and then introduce Ren Salo, who is managing everything payments and is a payments guru. So thanks for taking time out too. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you for having me. For folks who have been with Printavo or Inksoft for quite a while, <clears throat> you may know that we uh, historically would accept Stripe, Authorize.net, PayPal, um, anything. You could even record a payment um, separately onto the system and take it from one of those or outside the system. What we're doing is we're actually building out Printavo Payments, which is a, 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 an internal payment solution that gives us a lot of customization around payments. Now, um, we are deprecating and removing the other uh, solutions off of Printavo specifically first to get full buy-in into Printavo Payments and push forward on the maintenance and growth of that. Um, that caused some questions that caused actually a lot of people jumped in and obviously was a little skeptical, but we have a lot of people that are really excited about it, especially because we added ACH out of the gate. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know if you knew this story, Ren, but I wanted to tell the story actually before, uh, before blue star and PSG and private equity and like new ownership coming in. So maybe 2000, 17, 2018 or so, we actually built our own payment solution. And have you heard of WePay by chance? I have, yes. Okay. A um, little bit more archaic of a uh, tool. And not that, uh, I don't know how many of them are, are as up to date though, but they were bought, I think, by Chase. But anyway, we had built one. We had all the code basically ready. We started to test it. Um, Peter, our CTO, was, was testing and making sure it was, it was all working. And we came across a couple problems. Number one, um, we couldn't properly do ACH. The limits were really low. I'm talking like two, three thousand, maybe four thousand dollars low per transaction, which for this industry, no go out of the gate. Number two, they didn't have card, um, stored card on file. So, like, you can't store a credit card on a customer profile and use that again. Um, number three, we couldn't do any cool working capital stuff, um, which I'm sure you could talk about later, but that wasn't just a, a possibility. And last but not least, this is probably the most important one, um, to add all of this extra functionality to continue to help shops, we had to take on the risk as Printavo as a company as the middleman between the transaction of sh your shop as a customer and you getting the money. So it's like the customer, the us to the shop. I personally couldn't stomach that. <laughs> uh, you know, and chargebacks has nobody's fault, but things happen and we just couldn't take on that risk. So anyway, we thought, wow, we could grow just like Shopify. I don't know if anybody knows this, but like half of Shopify's revenue as a company comes from payments. Half of it comes from monthly subscriptions. And we said as a company, wow, we could grow like that. That's where we could go. Um, but when we got closer again, the team required was a an amazing run. It was like other people. There was like a team of three to five people that we have to invest in. And we had to table it and then COVID happened and priorities changed and so on. So anyway, kind of an interesting backstory that now we're able to execute on this stuff, but um, we just weren't able to before. So, okay. That was a long preface, but I thought it was important. <laughs> it is. It's an interesting historical uh, ramp up to where we are because it definitely speaks into the future and what we want to accomplish as a company. So um, I'm excited. Thanks for sharing that story. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Ren, so how'd you end up at Inktavo um, and your history in software land and, and payments world? I've been in payments now for 18 years. I am a nerd like that. I love it. I've been here for pretty much my entire career and I just really enjoy everything that involves payments. 
And I've done it for several different companies now, and most of those, if not all of them being software companies, also worked at an actual financial institution as well. And each of those, you learn something a little different and a little unique. And when I was looking for my next career move, I was really looking for where do I want to spend my time, you know, and what kind of industry and place do I want to spend my time? And when Printavo and Inksoft came up and being it like researching the custom merch industry, I was like, I want to be a part of that. Because for me, it's not just about payments and, and doing the money thing behind the scenes. It's also about who I get to serve. And this industry is so interesting to me because it's so much more than just branded merchandise. It's a community of people that also impact their communities around them. And, you know, things we wear and areas that like bring us together and unite us. And for me, that's really what got me excited and gets me excited every day to come and serve those specific customers that are impacting their communities. And before though, you were working with small businesses. Yes. The one right before this was churches and nonprofit organizations. So again, being able to impact uh, you know, a community is important to me and that's what gets me up in the morning. So was that workflow so- or like fundraising software for churches? What was that? Yeah, it was a donation software, event registration management and a custom, like a CRM system for software for our uh, church or a nonprofit organization. Got it. Crazy niche is out there. Yeah. We obviously are working with a partner now to be able to launch uh, payments can you talk a little bit about that and and just how that works and especially maybe evaluating looking at partners? Because I know you spent a lot of time with Stripe, you spent time with this partner and some others. Yeah, absolutely. So when I stepped into this role and we decided, what does the vision look like? We want to be able to bring all these value added features, much like you all did when you were looking and evaluating WePay. It was really important in who we selected. And so researched a lot of different uh, providers, and we knew that there were a couple of key things that we had to do and had to be able to do well. And that's things like being able to support high ticket amounts, especially for ACH. A lot of times in a lot of providers will automatically decline transactions if they're over a certain dollar limit. So we needed to find a partner that wasn't going to do that out of the gate and allow us to you know, legitimize the transaction and still allow them to process because that's key and critical to the lifeblood of most of our shops. As well as if, you know, sales increase overnight due to a fundraising store or something like that, that your deposits aren't held for unknown amounts of time or for lengthy periods of time. We also needed to find a partner that was going to allow us to accomplish all of those value adds we wanted and have been wanting to provide for our customers for years. So integrated ACH, uh, stored billing accounts or card on file, the remember me features when you go to your store or on your customer profiles, Um, being able to offer capital lending products to our shops, card present potentially in the future. Um, So where are the future of our shops going and how are we going to be able to best serve them as we continue to grow with them? Yeah, it's interesting having to pick a partner like that and then what, like what makes sense for us, what has all the, you know, development functionality that, that as a platform that we can use. I remember actually when we looked at Stripe, which probably the younger platform, but they also had the ACH problem of they wanted to limit per transaction. I think it was $3,000 per. And I, I literally texted a shop. I was like, that doesn't, that, that sounds way low. And they're like, yeah, we, we take transactions around 20,000 plus normally right. on NACH. Just like, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't going to work as a, as a partner, um, just to be able to build on the back end. Can you talk a little bit more too about what are you thinking roadmap wise? Whatever you feel comfortable teasing, I have gotten in trouble for being too open about roadmap. Um, maybe, maybe near term stuff. So we feel more confident. Yeah, absolutely. So, Um, For Printavo, we were able to already ship integrated ACH. That was a big customer ask for Printavo out of the gate. So able to ship that. Um, Inksoft store billing accounts for repeat purchases for people who come back to the storefronts often being able to store their billing information and come back and not have to re-enter it, which often can increase um, sales for our shops. Wow. That's actually really cool. And it's secure or like, how, mm-hmm. how you know, that yes, is the first question I generally get when I talk about stored payment method is, whoa, 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 is that 
secure for my end customers. Yeah. We're storing a token, <laughs> not the actual card information. And that token can be reused for repeat purchases. So uh, PCI compliant is stored at the payment processor, not on our system. It's a secure token. Yes. Got it. Yep. Cool. Um, so those are already here for their, uh, for Printavo and Inksoft. So immediate feature as are also to add card on file and store billing accounts for customers within Printavo. Um, being able to add ACH at Inksoft and then being able to add the ability to pay multiple invoices at once. So something like statements, right? Create a statement of all of the outstanding invoices that are due and pay that with one payment, whether that's a stored billing account or sending it out and having the customer go ahead and pay through the payment request through Printavo and just pay for all invoices at once. So that's on our most immediate roadmap. Wow. That's exciting, by the way. Yeah, I'm you excited. You here too. first. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I'm very excited for that one. I think it'll add a lot of ease to some of the biggest pain points for some of our Printavo customers out of the gate. For Inksoft, you know, we are in beta right now. So really listening to our customers on our Inksoft, what else do we want to be able to add? ACH is coming in the short term, um, but really listening to what's most important to our Inksoft customer base. On my wish list is also card present, uh, being able to do that in native within the app, have it all integrated and right there at your fingertips in a real tangible way. Again, that's my wish list item. So we'll see where that fits into the roadmap based on our customer feedback. Cool. Okay. So statements though, we can... I feel good about it right now. <laughs> I mean, that's exciting. I, I've seen that back and forth on the Facebook groups and um, our feedback boards and so on. So uh, really helpful, especially for a shop grows, handling terms, customers, just sending out one statement out. Another feature that I am very excited about for both Inksoft and Printavo is working capital. So we're partnering with a capital finance uh, lender called Paraffin, which does merchant cash advances to give access to easy capital to our shops to help them be able to grow. And so that's coming out as our pilot program here very shortly. Um, and then we'll be rolling it out more broadly as we capture feed feedback from beta groups and things like that. But very excited about being able to offer that um, to our shops on both Inksoft and Printavo. That's cool. And, and does that work as how people are used to it from maybe a PayPal or something? Because you see those advertisements a lot now uh, where, you know, you get it based on your transaction history and then yeah. um, you pay for it. You know, how, how does the repayment work? Loan amount is based on historical sales activity and then repayment is, is based on future sales activity. So what you process, there's a percentage that goes to repaying your loan based on what you're processing as you go. Got so it. very similar to, um, like you said, PayPal capital or a Stripe capital or some, you know, any of those that people are most familiar with. I, I would love at some point to be able to help I, I just, it, it could be amazing if we could under, like if we can give better loans to people for buying equipment than just somebody running a credit score. Um, yes. You know, who knows? I mean, FICO has been around for... I was just say, that's the end goal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be so cool to be next to, you know, Rock or I mean, or anyone just to say, hey, we, oh, you're a Pintavo customer. That would be incredible. Um, would love to help you buy this or that. Uh, but yeah, day-to-day -day cash flow, that's huge. Um, okay, my last hard-hitting question, Ren, I promise, is around rates, right? So rates are always a question. Um, some people are like, look, I, I have this rate or that rate. Uh, I don't want you to take it. Like, first of all, what is the process of working with Printavo on payments or Inksoft? And then... Can we do rate reviews? Can we help people with that? How do you look at that? Yeah, absolutely. So again, in picking our payments partner, we wanted to have more flexibility in our ability to help our shops and help them with fulfill our commitment to helping shops grow. And so that was a key factor for us in selecting our partner as well. So our goal is to offer a premium service for a competitive rate. Um, 
and be able to help our shops as they start to hit volume thresholds and start to process more. How can we help them help their money go further? And so, yes, we can do custom rate reviews. You'd work with your customer success manager or your account manager, and we're happy to review those on a case by case basis um, as they come in. And our goal is to be able to meet our customers where they are in a way that helps them grow. You've told me some examples too, by the way, uh, of like you finding us having better rates than people too. And, or yeah, we, you know, I I don't know what the volume threshold of when, like, for example, I think at Striber, it was maybe a million plus and they'd start to have just a conversation, no promises. Um, I don't think PayPal does anything. But are there, th- are there the high level ideas or is it really case by case? And then also, I know, you know, you've looked to see that there's a lot of extraneous fees that people have actually been getting charged from processors that we're not doing. Where you really start to see the benefit and say like a 0.10% or 10 basis point reduction really is at about a million dollars. Otherwise, you're not really saving anything month over month in your processing fees. Um, so we see that the same here. We do have quite a few customers that have come to us having had different rates at different providers, and we're willing to look at those on a case-by-case basis as well. But yes, to your point, there are a lot of providers out there that charge additional fees on top of your, what we call the discount rate, right? The percentage that you're paying above cost. Um, And in those cases, oftentimes the flat rate without additional monthly fees for payment processing saves our shops quite a bit of money. I'd say the average that we're saving shops right now is about $1,500 a year, if not a little more. Wow. Holy cow. That's really cool. Um, you guys don't talk about that enough, <laughs> and like from my perspective, but that's awesome. Yeah. I always get excited when those come up, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. it isn't the case for everyone. It is often a case by case basis for sure. But when it happens, it's really exciting to be able to sh- save our shops some money. Sweet. All right, Ren. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, Hopefully that was helpful. A little behind the scenes, a little peek behind the curtain of payments and what's coming this year in 2023. Exciting roadmap there and uh, pretty pumped. Leave a comment. Feel free to email us, um, Bruce at Printavo, and I can forward it around if you have any questions. All right. Thanks. Thank you. 